Hello, Jared here, and I'm back with Project Update 11. Um, I've been putting this video off for a long time, and I thought that I would make this announcement through a video, uh, because I've actually been getting a lot of questions about, uh, hey, what's going on with the project? Uh, what, when are you launching? And I know that I've had on the website that it was uh, summer 2021 coming and and we're getting to the back half of the summer and uh there's been a lot of developments there's been a lot of unexpected things that have happened and to be quite honest i've been procrastinating a bit uh making this announcement because i was still trying to make sure i knew what the shot was you know i don't want to start saying things too soon uh but um here we are and i'm gonna let you know what's up and uh we'll get this thing rolling so without leaving anyone hanging, let's just cut right to the chase. Let me answer the big questions. Uh, as far as launching in the summer, the answer is no. <laughs> However, is it launching this year? Yes. Um, I projected that I needed to get 45 pages done before I felt comfortable to launch to keep that buffer going. Um, but I've realized that since my production is taking longer, there's more to the comic than it ever has been. Uh, I would actually feel more comfortable finishing pages uh, or like having an extra five pages or so in order to, it gives me about a month and a half to two months extra time just in case uh, that buffer does start to squeeze me. So I'm looking at about 48, 49 pages. I've already looked through the script and I believe that I can have a nice stopping point right around 48 or 49. Um, I'm going to have 43 pages done at the end of this month alone. So I only need to get about five more. Uh, and I average about four pages a month. So my hope is to launch by or before Halloween. Uh, no promises. So we're looking at early fall. Uh, but uh, that's the first part of this announcement. And now for the second part. I've been thinking long and hard about this. And I know there will be some people left disappointed but I promise that it's for a good reason. After talking with some trusted advisors regarding some exciting opportunities that I'll be exploring over the next three or four months, give or take, I found it best to not launch the comic publicly for now. However, for anyone that subscribes to my Patreon channel, including the ones that already are, you get to read the comic. For as little as $1 a month, anyone can read it. It took a lot of thought to come to this conclusion, but I logically found it to be the best decision. This does not mean Volume 2 will never be publicly available, though I just can't do it at this time. If that changes in the future, I absolutely will be making an announcement. So again, I know it may be a letdown for some, but I assure you it is in the interest and success of this project. I'll put a Patreon link in the description below for anyone interested, though I <laughs> Actually, I think it's in the video itself, so <laughs> there's that too. So, yeah, I, I know that's a bombshell for some people. Um, I do hope that I can gain your support. I'm eternally grateful for everyone that has supported me, but that's kind of what I wanted to get off my chest. That's what I wanted to say, and I, I know I've been putting that off for a long time. I just I really had to make sure this was what I was going to do before I said it. But now that I got those things out of the way, let's move on to the more fun aspects, shall we? <laughs> so I know I just said you can read the comic signing up for my Patreon. Uh, however, there is more to it than just that. One thing that I've been thinking about, um, if you're not aware, there's this little thing going around called a pandemic. <laughs> and it's been going on for a while. And now I know the summer has felt a little more reasonable, like we're kind of back to normal, but we're also kind of not because, you know, all the other crap going on and it's resurging. And I, I don't want to talk about the pandemic in this video, but, but that's been a, a reason that a lot of conventions have been canceled and I had done a lot of planning. Anthrocon got canceled a second time. Um, Lord knows what, if anything's going to be up and running into the fall or the winter. So I, I have no expectations at this point. However, since I was always planning for these conventions, I have uh, this thing called merch sitting around. <laughs> I have all this stuff sitting around, and uh, I have got high-quality prints. I've got stickers. I've got bookmarks. I don't have books yet. I have prototype books, but I don't have like a stack of books to sell or anything. 
But point being, I've been thinking about giving the opportunity to my subscribers to maybe purchase some of the, the stuff that I have, maybe even at discounted prices. So if anyone finds that interesting and they think that that's something that they would want, you know, give me a shout, <laughs> tell me on Patreon, tell me in the comments. But uh, I, I've been thinking about it for a while. I'm like, that'd be cool. I do actually have canvases as well, but I, I haven't planned on shipping those right now. They're like framed wooden canvases. They're super high quality and they're also not cheap. Uh, but I, I got to keep things male friendly. I don't even know if I'm shipping out of the U.S. yet. Probably not. So I again, I have a lot of logistics to figure out. This is just something I've been mulling around in my head. So give me a shout if that sounds cool. Um, I, I'm not guaranteeing that yet, but I'm leaning on that more and more that I, that I think about it. And as far as the books, I've also thought possibly if I can get enough people pulled together, uh, I could put in a small order of actually getting the books printed because I have prototypes. I already have the templates ready to go. I can like with a couple clicks, I could print 50 to 100 books, but 50 to 100 books is really expensive. However, the more books that I print, the less each book costs. So, you know, I'm not running a Kickstarter here. That's not my aim. Uh, I'm, I'm, I already have tiers on my Patreon, but like one of the benefits would be, hey, would you guys be interested in going in on a group book deal? Like you could put in your orders. I, but again, but again, these are just things that I'm mulling around and I'm just, you know, just brainstorming a little bit here. But I, if that excites people, you know, let me know. So I've been talking about all these logistics, all this business stuff. <laughs> like, let's just talk about the comic for a minute, shall we? Uh, as you can see here in the speed paint, this was something I did earlier this year. I'm debating whether to turn this into a purchasable canvas or print. I'm not sure yet. I asked someone like, would you buy this? Would you like this? And he's like, well, yeah, it might need a little more color to it. So I don't know. I might like do some saturation boosting. I don't know. But this is a piece that I wanted. I, I don't know. I just, it came to me where I thought like, let's have Arlo in the city like all alone, it's kind of a melancholy piece. I don't even know if it's melancholy, but it, I wanted to convey something like a sense of, I don't know, like like a, a loneliness or he like a he's a little lost, you know. And I I know what that's like, like living in New York City, where they even give the name like New York City is one of the loneliest cities in the world, yet it has tens of millions of people. You're surrounded by people, yet you're all alone. And it, it, that's what it kind of conveys. And like, that's Arlo in High Bolt City in a snowstorm. And I've, I've joked about it when I posted it saying, oh, yeah, you know, hope the subways are running. Hope the trains are running because, oh, believe me, those things can shut down. And then it really sucks. And good luck getting a cab <laughs> or an Uber or anything. So you don't want to have to walk all the way home in a snowstorm. It ain't fun. Uh, I don't think that's ever happened to me, but it, I definitely had trains delayed heavily because of that. But I wanted to do that. And I also wanted to make this a high rendered piece. Uh, I, I wanted to test my skills and see what I could do with rendering. And, you know, I, th I think it turned out all right. I mean, I was happy with it. If I did it again, would I try new things? Absolutely. But it came out in a way that I enjoyed. So here it is showing you from the beginning to the end. So I do these every video as far as like just little snippets of what's going on in the comic. Uh, I'll throw a few up here. Again, I can't give you entire pages. I can't believe I would show entire pages in my early videos, but <laughs> I'm going to give you some slides here. Uh, I was working on a very long 14 page section and the way that I work, if I've said it in past videos, is I work in sections where I'll base something off of a script and I figure out how many pages it's going to be and if it's beyond a certain amount, I divvy it up and I work on that section until it's done and then I usually take a break, you know, maybe a few days up to a week. Like I said, I get around four pages done a month, give or take, but this was a 14 page section and it just kept piling up and 14 is on the high end for me. And I started working on this back in February and I didn't get them done until around, I'm thinking end of May, like early July. And I was just exhausted. And it was this big scene with Daphne and Enzo, Daphne's big reveal, by the way. And this was a scene that's been in my head for years and years, and I couldn't wait to draw. It was a whole lot of fun. Uh, my friend Zach's uh, classroom model really came in handy, and I'm also going to get to something else later in the video. 
but yeah, it was a whole lot of fun. Um, I got to experiment with a lot of new ideas and techniques and uh, paneling and pacing. And uh, I, I just enjoyed it. And so now the scene I'm working on uh, is some family stuff. It's a family scene. And uh, let me move on to that as they're basically back home. And speaking of home, that's another thing that's going on with the comic. As I said, Zach designed that science classroom. I'm going to make a, a dedicated video to this, but I'll just show you a tiny, tiny snippet of basically I had the entire cashmere house modeled. And I mean like actually architecturally modeled. It's not completely done yet. There's still some uh, kinks and things to work out. And uh, there has, there's some furniture that needs to be added, but it's a fully 3D fly through, walk through house. I mean, furniture, furnished everything. And there's like proper floor plans and it's, it's awesome. <laughs> I mean, I commissioned them. It wasn't for free. That's for sure. But um, it's been enormously helpful. I got to tell you, 3D modeling for backgrounds is my God, it's a game changer. <laughs> it's, and there's even a filter that, he made that does auto line work. So it takes care of most of the line work. I don't even have to line the background. <laughs> I love it. It's so great. Granted, I have to add in tons of details. Like I'll add in just, you know, shirts and trinkets and things on desks and magazines and books and bookshelves. Like I do that. But I mean, all the furniture is there. All the main stuff is there. And it, God, it's so great. I, I love it. But uh, I just wanted to go over that. And since I'm talking about that, I'll put Zach's website in the description below as well. If you want to commission him, he does tons of 3D stuff. He'll make you anything you want pretty much in 3D. Make you something that's ready to be 3D printable. Make you a freaking statue. Make you a house. <laughs> He'll make you anything. So, so yeah, give him a shout. So anyway, this video's had quite a lot of information in it, hasn't it? <laughs> uh... I know I've talked about a lot. I know some things have been not as fun. Some things are more exciting. But I just wanted to give you an update of everything that's going on. I know I've been putting this announcement off for a long time. But I'm glad I got it off my chest. I had to get it out there. i got to be transparent with you guys. So, uh, But it is coming. I promise. You, you can read it. But maybe just not in the way that you thought it was going to be. At least at this time. Well, that's about it. So uh, I guess this is where I do my traditional like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button. <laughs> I'll get this comic out uh, as soon as I can. And uh, I hope to gain your support. Again, the Patreon link is in, in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.